Now this Aurelic amplifier actually sold out as soon as it came out. I mean, it sold out so quickly that I was supposed to get a review sample and they couldn't even send it to me because everyone bought them too quickly. So what's so special about this Aurelic amplifier and why did it sell out so quickly? I feel like mini amplifiers have become a dime a dozen. They are all over the place. You can buy one from Aima, Aurelic, uh, Fosse, and they all pretty much do the same thing and they're all around the same price point, $150 and under. And really they don't offer anything new. They have Bluetooth on them, aux in, and that's it. They really decided to do something a little bit different. They decided to go all out on connectivity and boy does it have everything you could possibly want in connectivity. First, it starts off with an HDMI arc. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, it stands for audio return channel. You can hook this up to your newer television that has an arc HDMI on it and everything that's going to the television will then get transmitted to this. Not only that, you can use your television remote control to control the volume on this particular unit. Makes it very streamlined and easy to use. But that's not the only thing that makes this so special. The connectivity is unbelievable. This has Bluetooth on it. Of course, most of these units have Bluetooth on it, but this has Bluetooth in a way that you wouldn't expect. Yes, you can Bluetooth your phone to it, but you can also Bluetooth to headphones. So for example, if you're late at night wanting to listen to a movie and you don't want to disturb anyone else, you can actually turn this into Bluetooth mode and it'll transmit to your headphones and shut off your speakers that you had playing to it. It's pretty amazing. And I've actually used this quite a few times. And one of the things that always concerns me about that Bluetooth is that we're going to have some type of delay. So when we're listening to that Bluetooth, the mouths don't line up with the actual audio that we're getting transmitted to. That's not the case with the Aurelic. It actually does a really great job syncing everything. And that was really impressive. But that's not all the connectivity that makes this so special. If you take a look at the back, it does have a USB DAC on there. And when you plug this up, you can also use their DSP program and DSP this. That means any set of speakers that you have, you can actually DSP any way you want. You can add a high pass, you can add a low pass, you can do pretty much anything you want. It's a very extensive DSP program, very cool. Now, I understand not everyone wants to go ahead and add this to their computer to DSP it, and this is where this gets a little bit more interesting. They actually have an app that comes with this amplifier as well. It's crazy the things that they thought of with this particular thing. But if you download their Go Control app, you can connect to this. You can actually rename the unit. So if you have it in your living room or your bedroom, or if you have multiples of these, you can rename them to whatever you want. And you can use that app as a remote control. But not only that, if you take a look at it, it has ways to base the boost. It has treble enhancement, it has mid enhancement. It has a, uh, a different EQ, you can EQ this different ways and you can even select some of their preset EQs. It's pretty amazing. And of course you can change the input, which yeah, I mentioned there's a lot of inputs. I mean, you can just see them on the app. It's pretty impressive. And if we continue turning it around, we're gonna see things that I absolutely love on here, such as a subwoofer out. That means that you can hook up a uh, subwoofer to this and make this a 2.1 channel. Now that's a non-powered subwoofer out that is just for signal. So you would want a powered subwoofer. It does have optical in for those of you who use optical. It does have line in and it has a phono input. That's for all of you guys that are record enthusiasts. You don't need to have a preamp anymore. You can, this one already has one built in and you can listen to all your records. Now, one of the things that bothered me about some uh, amplifiers that have multiple inputs is it's hard to tell which input you're on. So Aurelic has actually done something very smart. When you plug this up and turn it on, when you go to your input, you're gonna see all these different LEDs on the front. Each one is a different color and each color is going to be associated with a different input. You do have a remote control that comes with this. So if you're on the couch and you want to control it, you can. Now the thing that I love about that is I can easily determine what input I'm on just by looking at the color of the LED. That is really important to me. Now you can start to see why this is becoming so good, but you're probably thinking something with all of this on it is costing an arm and a leg. Here's the deal. It doesn't, it only costs $140. So you're probably saying, well, it has to have a sacrifice somewhere. 
And I guess if I were going to say a sacrifice, it would be the output. The output is two by 50 watts at four ohm, which is more than enough for most people. Having said that, it is smaller than some of the other amplifiers that have come out recently. Here's the deal though. Those other amplifiers can't do anything like this. This could literally replace someone that wants just a 2.1 channel setup in their living room. This could easily replace a much larger stereo receiver and or home theater receiver and at the price of only $140. That's what I find so impressive about this. It's not that it has all these features, it's that it has all these features at that price point. Now I've never said that a mini amplifier could change the way that I hook things up, but this one has. In fact, I'm gonna be using this in my kid's game room and I've already hooked it up and it's replacing a much larger surround sound receiver. And it's great because when I want the kids to be a little bit quieter, I can ask them to put their Bluetooth headphones on and they can do that and watch a movie or a TV show and not necessarily have to bother anyone else. But when they wanna rock out or jam out, they can turn that bass right on up with the use of the app or of course the DSP program. All right, I wanna know your thoughts. What are your guys' thoughts on the Aurelic B50? I personally am very excited about this because if they can do this for $140, I sure the heck want to know what the heck they could do for three or $500 because that will be a very exciting time. All right, guys, it's Toy Studio Audio, and I'm out.